Good afternoon. I'm on the, lim the limestone road and I'm outside the premises of WAC McCandless Engineers Limited. And I've come down here to uh, video this uh, blue plaque Ulster History C Circle uh, tribute to Rex Richard McCandless. 1915 to 1992, engineer inventor of the featherbed motorcycle frame in 1949, developer of gyro planes, and he was in business on this spot. Now, I'm not sure whether uh, McCandless Engineering has any uh, family connection to Rex McCandless. Uh, the name is the same, but I just don't know if uh, they any relatives uh, still remain in the company but uh, having said that this plaque was placed up here as a tribute to this guy I mean this guy was innovative this guy was creative this guy was inventive uh, just beyond uh, you know I'm speechless whenever I uh, well I'm not speechless because I'm talking but I'm speechless whenever I run my eye down the achievements of Rex McCandless, local man. Um, the 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 featherbed motorbike frame uh, invented by Rex McCandless in 1949. It was a massive leap forward in the manufacture of motorcycles. I mean, it was unbelievable. Um, he was born. Um, just out, uh, outside Hillsborough at Kilcavey in 1915 and um, came to Belfast during the depression and um, started up a business here with his brother um, and both brothers, uh, McC McCandless brothers were well into their bikes and uh, Rex <laughs> reckoned pre-war bikes with their hard frames were, were pretty rubbishy. So they broke easily and they were hard to handle on rough loads obviously and he looked for ways to improve this, uh, the standard of uh, steering, road handling and comfort and he, he complete, completed a new type of feather bed frame. It was comfortable like a feather bed sleep somebody said about it and it changed the face of motorcycling for the next 25 years. And in 1950, uh, the first uh, featherbed bike won the TT races, and it was a Norton. Rex McCandless didn't confine, him, confine himself. He, he reminds me of Harry Ferguson. He didn't confine himself to uh, motorbikes. He was he was really really hands on, and he, uh, he you know he he won motorbike races. He was into hill climbing. He developed a gyro plane. Um, he had workshops in Newton Arts and Crumlin, and he was into brick making. He was into four wheel drive racing cars. The man was just uh, unstoppable. Um, he died in 1992, and he's buried at Kilock. He was 77, and it's fitting that this this Ulster man should be remembered with a blue plaque and this blue plaque was only uh, placed up here about a month ago and Jeremy McWilliams, a uh, road racer from uh, uh, Northern Ireland was uh, here to um, unveil the plaque. So well done Ulster History Circle for commemorating the talent and inventiveness and the achievements of Rex McCandless. Can any good thing come out of Little Ulster? Of course! There's hundreds and hundreds of men and women who have made a substantial difference on the world stage. Rex McCandless is one of those many, many Ulster men and women.